Battery life is a pretty important aspect of a smartphone. Sure, you will want performance first, but once you have a great performer, you want it to last longer off the wall charger. Now, plenty of manufacturers st stick a 3 plus amp hour juice box in their handsets, but as we've learned, it's not all about the size. Apparently, software optimization makes an immense difference. So, let's check out some smartphones that bear a 3000 mAh battery, but deliver underwhelming longevity. Seeing as they have large juice boxes, we will consider a result of less than 7 hours on our battery life test as subpar. Now, some of the models in our list are a bit older, and we realize that optimizations in the field of battery life are constantly evolving. But, we've stuck to handsets that are either X flagships, which are still being sold at retailers as pretty competent mid-rangers, or other unique mid-rangers, which are yet to be refreshed to a new iteration. So, without further ado, let's check out the 7 phones with huge batteries but underwhelming battery life. Number 7. LG G2 Now, let's make it clear that we still like the G2. It was great when it first arrived back in 2013, and it can still be bought as a great upper-class mid-ranger right now. On our battery life test, the G2 kept its lights on for 6 hours and 48 minutes, just 12 minutes from our average threshold. So, today's heavy users may be attracted by a still potent Snapdragon 800 chipset coupled with 3GB of RAM and the promising 3000mAh battery. But the fact is, it's falling behind in terms of battery life compared to its more recent rivals. Number 6. Oppo N3 Oppo's unique swivel camera phone. It has just one snapper, which is attached to a motorized mechanism circling it around to whatever you need the camera to point at. Sounds neat, right? Well, the N3 didn't manage to woo us, and in fact we found its battery life to be mediocre at best. Its 3000 mAh juicer only lasted 6 hours and 25 minutes on our test. Number 5. LG G3 LG's current flagship and the first widely available smartphone to bring QHD display to the users of the world. Of course, if you don't care about super sharp resolution, the G3 can still wow you with a pretty impressive screen to body ratio, a laser autofocus assisted camera, very cool hardware button placements, and a beautiful interface which was flat before it was cool. Unfortunately, pushing as many pixels as the G3 does definitely takes a toll on the battery, and this 3000 mAh equipped warrior only lasted 6 hours and 14 minutes on our test. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy Note 3 While the Galaxy Note 4 is one of the leaders in battery life, its predecessor, the Note 3, which can still be bought from many carriers and retailers worldwide, only managed to last 6 hours and 8 minutes on our test, which is especially surprising considering its 3200 mAh battery. Even the downgraded Galaxy Note 3 Neo, which had 100 mAh less of a battery, could last 2 hours more on our test. Oh well. Number 3. Sony Xperia Z Ultra Now, we have been hearing that Sony is planning to refresh its ultra-large phablet line with a new Z4 Ultra. However, right now, if you want a gigantic Sony Z series handset, this is your only choice. It houses a 3000 mAh battery which only lasted 4 hours and 55 minutes on our tests, which is quite poor. To be fair, Sony has made enormous progress in terms of optimizing its phone's battery longevity, so if an Xperia Z4 Ultra were to arrive, we'd expect it to be an extreme athlete in the field. Number 2. Oppo Find 7 Oppo's yet-to-be-refreshed flagship has a QHD display and a 3000 mAh battery to push its pixels. Unfortunately, however, Oppo seemingly didn't do an outstanding job at optimizing their color OS, as the battery of the Find 7 drains pretty fast, 4 hours and 30 minutes on our test. Number 1. Alcatel One Touch Hero 2 the Alcatel One Touch Hero 2 is a 6-inch phablet with a 1080x1920 resolution, a MediaTek 6592 SoC and a 3100mAh battery. We have to say we were baffled by its outstandingly poor battery life, as the huge handset only lasted 4 hours and 28 minutes on our, in our test. Taking the phablet for a ride as a daily driver proved that it just can't take the heat. When away from an outlet for prolonged times with this handset, we advise you do only minimal usage. So, did we miss any phone that had you in disbelief with a short screen on time? Let us know and be sure to visit www.phonearena.com for more stories, reviews and pics. This has been Paul K. Have a nice day.